you might think that, you know, being, you know, the person just kind of criticizing on the outside makes you unique, right? Your ego finds that. It's like, well, I'm kind of standing out, right? I don't want to just, you know, cheer everyone on, just blindly cheer them on. I want to be the one person who's, you know, a little bit critical, right? But here's what you don't realize. That's the majority, right? The majority is everyone sitting around looking at the select few who are in the arena playing the game called life and you are kidding yourself. So I hope your ego takes the hit there and write this down too. This is the big distinction. Someone who is coping, okay? There's all the focus when they see someone winning where it's like criticism, criticism, criticism and audit your immediate reaction when you see someone winning in all aspects of life. It's criticism and then, as Owen just said, attachment to compliments, right? And funny enough, the more you criticize, the more you reinforce this reality where you believe, oh, everyone else is criticizing. And because it's coming from that wounded place, you're even more attached to compliments and it just keeps you stuck. You'll have a lot of difficulty jumping into that arena because, hey, you don't wanna be one of those people who's criticized. So coping is criticism, compliments. Thriving, when you see someone winning, is you're inspired. You actually celebrate their win. You're happy for them. And instead of just you know, having that little blind spot and only wanting compliments to hear good things, you actually are open to productive feedback. It's a specific inversion. It's the exact opposite once the leg becomes weight-bearing. Exactly, right? If your leg's like all hurting, of course, like I don't want any you know, feedback. Don't give me the feedback, just compliment it, compliment it. The key is let's get you to where you're strong, where you can actually take it, where you're like, you know what, I'm ready. Enough with the little compliments, give it to me, I can handle it. And that's how you really start growing. So once more, coping is criticize, compliment, thriving is inspired, feedback. That's the big distinction there. And once more, if your ego saying, oh, but this is what makes us unique. No, no, no. That's the default, that's the majority, okay? And then even zooming out, it's ask yourself here in life, is that your legacy? Is that why you were put here? To kind of sit on the sidelines and look at others living and just, is that your legacy just giving your thought of how they're living, right? It's in a way like sitting down and just watching TV till the day you die, right? You're watching TV and you're like, that character should do this. Oh, I can't believe that John and Sue and the TV show are arguing, da, 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 da. That's what people do in real life, right? They don't do much. They just kind of go through the motions. It's like, only say good things to me. And then they're just criticizing everyone else. It's like the ultimate, you know, passive, hypocritical way of life. And is that why you were here? Or were you perhaps here to jump in that arena?